He played more than 100 times for France. There was little he didn't achieve during his 18 seasons as a professional. A midfielder, he won the FIFA World Cup, the European Championship, and multiple league and cup titles in England and Italy. Patrick Vieira was amongst the greatest of his generation. You cannot have another Vieira. As simple as that. He was at the heart of the team. He was the one who set the tempo. Not only was he a very strong physical player who loved the fact that it was a contact sport, his technique was also superb. I don't remember ever playing with a man or seeing a man that could play alone in midfield. Getting the ball back, giving you an assist and a goal. Like going through the opposition like they were just not there. He has a strong personality and he always wanted to improve. He was a real warrior. He was a true leader, a true captain. On occasions when things weren't going well on the pitch, we needed to hear his voice. For us, that was very important. Patrick Vieira was not just an imposing, cultured midfielder, he was a natural leader, captaining both club and country. Most assume management was a natural step after playing. Being a coach wasn't in my mind when I was playing, but uh, when I finished my career at um, Manchester City, I was surrounded by people who saw something on me that, that I did not know I had it inside me. I found myself really comfortable to be in that decision, and, uh, and this is the reason why um, I completely changed my mind, and, uh, and I really do love it now. After retirement from playing, Vieira worked his way through the coaching ranks at Manchester City, before being appointed head coach of their sister club, New York City FC, ahead of the 2016 season. When you're talking about the soccer uh, in the US, in New York, is going up. Uh, because of this diversity, you find people who, who follow games, know about players, know about the league, and, um, and I strongly believe that in the next few years, uh, this league and the city will be football mad. My time as a player, I was concerned about, about myself, about how I'm going to prepare the week, so I, that can allow me to perform in the weekend. Now, as a coach, you have to plan the week, you have to plan the months, you have to plan all the season. You have to think about other people before thinking about yourself, and you become less. I was really uh, fortunate to, uh, to be uh, working under some, some fantastic manager. The one maybe that I know better than anybody else was, uh, was Arsene Wenger. But I think every single manager um, have his own way of dealing or coaching. And uh, what was important and what is important for me is just to, to understand who I am as a, as a manager. In his first season in New York, the club were eliminated in the conference playoff semi-finals. But Vieira's side certainly made their mark, finishing the MLS regular season as the highest scoring team. I just putting myself as a, if I was one of the fans, what I want from the team. I just want to enjoy the team. I wanted to watch a team who uh, like to go forward. I want to see the team with uh, going on the field and, and, and having their mind, we're going to win the game. With the new season in North America now underway, Vieira and his players must put last year's playoff disappointment behind them. You know, I think it helps we have a core group of guys that were on the team last year, worked with Patrick, and so we understand what he wants out of us. He's been a great coach, so I've really enjoyed working with him. Um, you know, he focuses a lot on the tactical side of things, the mental side of things, which I enjoy a lot. Um, and he gives confidence to all his players, which has helped me and everybody else on the team grow as individuals. In Andrea Pirlo and David Villa, Vieira has two of the most successful and high-profile imports in the MLS at his disposal. However, he knows developing young players from closer to home is paramount. Fans love to identify themselves with a local players, I would say. And uh, we have to uh, develop young players, American players, and that is not just New York City. This is how can we work in a grassroots to give those young kids who love the game, who are really passionate about the game, the right 
um, details for them to, to improve and, uh, and, uh, and to have a chance to, to play in the MLS. As a player, he knew nothing but success. As a coach, the early signs are promising. But Patrick Vieira is wise enough not to look too far into the future. The objective is always uh, try to do the best as we can, uh, try to get the best of every single player. And, uh, and uh, at the end of the season, if I had the feeling that I managed to get the best of every single player, I will be happy with that.